Queen of the Skies Jumbo Jet, many years on, the 747 remains an iconic plane with its distinctive hump, is the most recognizable plane in the sky, and has always been a passionate favorite of aviation enthusiasts. During its development, this aircraft has undergone transformations to suit its ability to carry people, goods, and other government purposes. There are variations that have been applied and become popular, but there are also variations that only stay on paper. So which Boeing 747 hasn't been released yet? Why did Boeing stop production of the Boeing 747? What is the reason behind this? Let's dive in. In the late 60 and early 70, Boeing researched to develop a shorter 747 with three engines with the sole purpose of competing with smaller aircraft like the Lockheed L-1011 Tristar and McDonnell Douglas DC-10. The center engine would have been fitted in the tail with an S-duct intake similar to the L-1011s. Overall, the 747 Trijet would have had more payload, range, and passenger capacity than both of them. But there are two main issues that led to the idea's eventual rejection. The first was the engineering needed to build this new aircraft. To be structurally sound, this new aircraft would have needed to have a whole new wing designed for it. This is due to the fact that contemporary wing designs were developed with two engines per side. The requirements for pilot training were the second factor in the project's failure. Boeing was making an effort to produce a product that was almost exactly the same as its typical 747 offerings. They sought to keep the current handling qualities while converting to a three-engine configuration so that minimal training would be needed. This proved challenging for the company to do. Therefore, they were not able to pursue the Trijet project to the end, but returned to the shortened quadjet type that we know today as the 747 short performance. In January 1986, Boeing first announced plans to develop a larger ultra-long haul variant, the 747-500. The aircraft was supposed to go into service in the mid to late 1990. The generator would use an engine developed from General Electric's Prof and Technology, but the engine would be shrouded, have a bypass ratio of 15 to 20, and have a Prof and diameter of 10 to 12 feet. Airlines will be able to operate non-stop flights between Sydney, Australia, and London, England, thanks to the aircraft's extended length, including the upper deck, improved wings that minimize drag, and the ability to fly quicker and cover a greater distance. Boeing announced the 747 ASB, Advanced, Short Body, in 1986 as a response to the Airbus A340 and the McDonnell Douglas MD-11. With this aircraft design, the 747 SP fuselage would have been shorter and the sophisticated technology from the 747-400 would have been combined. The aircraft had a range of 8,000 nautical miles, 9,200 miles, 15,000 kilometers, and was intended to accommodate 295 passengers. Nevertheless, the project was shelved in 1988 in favor of the Boeing 777 since airlines showed no interest in it. The 747-500X and 600X were unveiled by Boeing at the Farnborough Air Show in 1996. The suggested versions would have fused the fuselage of the 747 with a new wing measuring 251 feet 77 meters that was taken from the 777. More potent engines were also added and the number of tires on the main landing gear was increased from 16 to 20 and on the nose landing gear from 2 to 4. The 747-500X concept featured a fuselage length increased by 18 feet 5.5 meters to 250 feet 76 meters, and the aircraft was to carry 462 passengers over a range up to 8,700 nautical miles, 16,100 kilometers, 10,000 miles, with a gross weight of over 1.0 million pounds, 450 tons. The 747-600X concept featured a greater stretch to 279 feet, 85 meters, with seating for 548 passengers, a range of up to 7,700 nautical miles, 14,300 kilometers, 8,900 miles, and a gross weight of 1, 2 million pounds, 
the 747-700X would have combined the wing of the 747-600X with a widened fuselage, allowing it to carry 650 passengers over the same range as a 747-400. With a gross weight of more than 1.0 million pounds, the 747-500X idea was designed to carry 462 passengers over a range of up to 8,700 nautical miles. The fuselage length was enlarged by 18 feet 5.5 meters to 250 feet 76 meters with 548 seats and a maximum range of 7,700 nautical miles. The 747-600X design had a longer reach of 279 feet 85 meters and a gross weight of 1.2 million pounds. The 747-700X would have carried 650 passengers over the same range as a 747-400 by fusing the wing of the 747-600X with a wider fuselage. The anticipated cost of the modifications made to earlier 747 models, specifically the new wing for the 747-500X and 600X, was more than 5 billion U.S. dollars. Boeing was not able to attract enough interest to launch the aircraft. While Airbus conducted research on the A3XX, Boeing launched the 747X replacement in 2000 and P, a more modest proposal than the previous 500X and 600X, retaining the overall wing design of the 747 and adding a segment at the base, increasing the wingspan to 229 feet, 69.8 meters, the power source would have been powered by Engine Alliance GP7172 or Rolls-Royce Trent 600 also recommended for 767-400ERX. The 747X can carry 430 passengers over a range of up to 8,700 nautical miles, 16,100 kilometers, 10,000 miles. The 747X stretch will be stretched to 263 feet, 80.2 meters, allowing it to carry 500 passengers over a range of up to 7,800 nautical miles, 14,400 kilometers, 9,000 miles, both have interiors based on the 777. Cargo versions of the 747X and 747X stretch have also been studied. Side view of the 747-400ER and flight jet taken from the 747-400X study. Like its predecessor, the 747X failed to attract enough interest for production, and it was shelved along with the 767-400ERX in March 2001 when Boeing unveiled the Sonic Cruiser concept. Although the 747X design was less expensive than the 747-500X and 600XA, it was criticized for not offering enough advancement over the existing 747-400. The 747X did not move beyond the drawing board, but the 747-400X was developed at the same time as it moved into production to become the 747-400ER. Following the conclusion of the 747X program, Boeing continued to research possible improvements to the 747. The 747 xqlr Quiet Long Range is expected to have a range increase to 7,980 nautical miles, 14,780 kilometers, 9,180 miles, with improvements to increase performance and reduce noise. Improvements studied include canted wingtips, similar to those used on the 767-400ER and serrated engine nacelles to reduce noise. Although this variant did not enter production, many of its features were adopted for the 747 Advanced, launched as the 7478 in 2005. So Boeing's decision not to continue developing more of these variants could be attributed to a number of important factors. But a common problem in most cases is market concerns. Boeing's proposed variants didn't really take off no matter how far along the idea actually was. If there's a lack of interest, there's no reason to continue, and in most cases, customers aren't interested enough to see a variation that's still on the way. Another reason is that the airline industry is also evolving, and for many airlines, they were seeing better alternatives available to them at that time. Or, they themselves are willing to wait a little longer to see what happens next. They believe that in the future, there will be the next revolutionary aircraft. Back in the days when these 747 variants were proposed, the media pointed to the Boeing 777 or the Airbus A340 and a 330. They were your new aircraft that was attracting a lot of interest. The direction of the market was actually somewhat unclear at that point. Even now, 
analysts still believe that it was probably a wiser long-term decision to forgo continuing further with the 747 versions since it would not have made much financial sense for them. Although these concepts were never put into production, we can't claim they were a complete failure because some of these variations gave Boeing some extremely useful information and insights that helped the company develop other popular aircraft types. Even a small improvement in the manufacturer's research design can have a huge impact on upcoming production processes. In the event that a 747 trijet never materializes, the manufacturer of the aircraft has gained important insight from its progress. In conclusion, Boeing sought to enhance the 747 family by creating numerous variants over several decades. Until now, Boeing ended the half-century pioneering journey of this wide-body aircraft, as airlines tend to switch to using smaller, less fuel-efficient aircraft. Huge airplanes can be said to have fallen out of favor. A 380 has also stopped production due to a small number of orders. If you want to know about how airlines put this Airbus aircraft into use today, Click on the link on the screen.